Landing tool. We can create a landing between two runs of stairs. And so first let's go up to our circulation panel in the architecture tab. And we're going to create a stair by component. And we're going to go into a straight run. And I'm going to start a stairs. And I'm not going to put all 18 steps in. I'm only going to put in 9, let's say. And I'm going to click. You notice up here we have automatic landing, which is checked on by default. I have it unchecked right now. That means I do not put a landing in. So I'm going to put a five foot space in between uh, the set of stairs. And I'm going to now finish the remaining risers. And so now I create the other nine risers needed to get to the two floors. I'm going to go up and finish this edit mode. And I'll get a warning that says, hey, they're not connected. We know and I'll hit close. And now I got a gap between my two stairs. Not so cool. So we're just going to pick onto one of the stairs and uh, we're going to click on it and we're going to edit stairs. We go to edit stairs. Now we can come over and click on our landing. In our landing the first default one is pick two runs. I'm going to come over here and pick on the first run. It'll change it to blue. I'll pick on the second run. And it'll change it to blue. It'll automatically create. In this case, I'll hit finish edit mode. And it created my stairs landing. So I go to default view, you'll see my landing. If I go back to level one, let's try it the normal way. And the normal way is landing box is checked by default. So let's go up to the stairs and stair by component. And we're going to automatically check on automatic landing. Now when I create a stairs, let's say I make eight risers, I'm going to make make a landing of four or five feet. Alright. Come on, graphics card. So I'll make a, a landing of 5 feet, I'll click, I'll make the remaining 10 risers in this case. It automatically built the landing for me. I hit the finish mode, I go into default 3D view, and there I have my first set of risers, my landing, and my second set of risers. So my landing tool can be done automatically, or I can come back in later and connect two runs of stairs. Uh, to put a landing in between any two runs of stairs. And I can do that with uh, picking the two runs or I can sketch a custom landing. And a sketch a custom landing is if uh, perhaps my landing uh, has to be an odd shape in between the two sets of runs.